the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yeah, see, I'm better than you. I'm better than him. That's what I'm trying to say. The bishop was saying is, kingdom neighbor, Jesus was trying to set a different, I think you said it earlier, Brother Asa, he was saying a different direction, different way of, of behavior for kingdom people. Yeah. Yeah. And well, he, if, he, if, huh? If we take on the value that's assigned to us, he said he would make us a nation of kings and priests. I don't know if he's talking about right now or not, but I would think that it would apply to us now. Priests intercede, so. on, yeah. priests intercede on behalf of people who can't get to Christ. Right. And, and I would say, yeah, go ahead. I was just to minister to the need. The yeah. need is that they come to know who Christ is. And so we position ourselves to intercede on their behalf until the time they make that connection. Right. There's really much, not much else for us to do. Right. When I look at the, the scripture in another place where it says our good works as filthy rags. Come on now. It tells us how yeah. much our righteousness looks, how much clout that gained us in the sight of God. Exactly. So if our clout ever gained us anything, it could have been possible to kill us and bring us back. Exactly. But we were, we were killing. So there's, no, there's nothing in us, in and of ourselves, that warrants our presence with the Lord. Right. So it's Jesus' work only that really uh, gives us that fellowship. Exactly. So it, for us, is to pray that others who don't know Him might gain that fellowship through Christ Jesus. Yeah. And that's 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 the uh, that's the pattern of behavior. Period. Exactly. In other uh, words, we don't, we don't want to be like the we don't want to go to the other side of the road for a person with that spiritual condition. We don't want to go inside the church building, brother Asa, like you're saying is inside the temple and, and, and look on somebody and say, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I know, boy, it's so it's so human. It's so, it's human. so flesh, man. It's so easy. It's so, exactly. You see somebody doing something that jacked up, especially to do it against you. You know what I'm saying? It was a personal hit. You kind of like you back away from that thing a couple times. You I don't even want them to say Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying is in verse 33, when we went into that one, Bishop, I'm still saying, I, my CIT is still standing within the, the text. The image part is like I said, man, a certain man. That's why I got the image. All of us are made in the image of God. But the other part was a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him. He had compassion. He, he, he represents the kingdom, or at least the kingdom of Christ, the kingdom of God. He had compassion. But in, yeah, in the, in the sense the kingdom of God, but as he distinguishes in this parable, the first people that he talked about were, were, were especially Jews. Yeah. Who were supposed to be the examples of righteousness and you know how you're supposed to serve God and so forth and lead others to it. Right. This guy who was outside of the faith. Outside of the faith. Showed more godliness than the people who had been assigned the task of showing godliness. Right. And I, yeah. I would dare, I would dare say that, that the man that was attacked was probably a Jew. We're not doubting it. But because, <laughs> but because of his state, they wouldn't touch him. Exactly. Because he was left for dead. Yeah. And I'm just saying, this is someone from the spiritual uh, position. All of us were left for dead until that's why you say you got to be born again. Then somebody had to preach to us. Yeah. Somebody had cared enough about us to pray for us. Come on now. You might have saw us out there drunk. Because <laughs> you'll be sick, right? The preacher, right? He said, how can you, how can you preach to let you be sick? So somebody been sick. <laughs> somebody, yeah. I, I remember the two ladies that came to the house. They would play the part of the Samaritan. Come on now. <laughs> and, uh, they really did. I, I thought that was one of the most memorable occasions in my whole Christian walk. Because I still I still remember what perplexed me was the fact that I couldn't see how they could smell the liquor. 
You know what I'm saying? They must smell it. Look at my brother. How can you trip or keep coming in the house trying to bring me back to the church? <laughs> and that, that was crazy to me, but I went. Well, they knew that nigga was there. I, I, they, remember, I remember when I was uh, back in Germany, I don't know if I told you, I said, I was, uh, uh, some church people came out to visit us. I was going to the church service. Don't get me wrong. I was going to the church service. But as, and you've been to Germany before, I think. Right, you've been to Germany, and uh, so so in other words, and you can keep the beer on the uh, on the balcony, so you can see my beer on the balcony, right? Because <laughs> they were big bottles, they couldn't fit in the refrigerator. But the elder, this is what the guy said. Uh, I said, "Well, y'all like something to drink?" I said, "I got some soda, I got some, uh, I got some water and some uh, juice. If y'all want something." And he said. Uh, yeah, I I I take I take some juice, but you go ahead and get you some you you know you wanna drink a beer, go get you a beer. You know, they they said that. I I didn't even say it. <laughs> yep. I, I was I was gonna get everybody's a soda, coke, uh, 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 water, whatever they wanted, and I was gonna drink <laughs> I was gonna drink one of those too. But they got they said they just put it said, you know, if you you know we know you drink uh, beer, so you want to get your beer, you go get one. <laughs> and I thought that was cool, because I was saying that we're not, we're not here to judge you about what you drink and stuff, which is sometimes the church has done. Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, remember, I can't remember the scripture we talked about. It said, don't put more on them than <laughs> tell them to abstain from fornication and the things that have been strangled. Right. It was like when we bring people into the church, we we labor them down with so much stuff. It's impossible for them to live up to that. Right. And then I'm concerned about the movie really because the sad thing is the fact is we put people out. And I that that kind of refer back to other things. Give us a chance. Work with them. <laughs> I don't know when you want to start working with somebody, but I think you do like that that uh Samaritan have compassion. Let me ask you this question then. I was kind of reflect by it too. Um, you know, you got a particular situation. You got one person who sees that God has given them, and I say God has given them this particular perspective on it. And then another person might have a softer one. You know what I'm saying? You got like the good cop, the bad cop thing. <laughs> and it's not like it's a contrived of uh, uh, passion. It may really be the passion that the Lord has laid on your heart. Yeah. Like prophets don't come across like pastors. Uh -huh. Prophets are kind of they're direct and they speak supposedly for God to the people. But the, the priest will speak, speak to God on behalf of the or the speak, speak to God on behalf of the people. So their approach to it seems to be a little bit different. So can you can have like with one person, like with me. The preacher was very hard line with the preaching and stuff like that. To me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't even want to get you punching. But his wife and the, and the other sister from the church came, and they were more encouraging. You know, you got one person throwing bricks at you, and then you got the other folk bringing bandages and, <laughs> yeah. and, and salve and stuff. And do you think that God uses situations, circumstances, and people like that in order to bring us into the to a full knowledge of who he is. I think, like you said, that sometimes a prophet would be someone that will point out something that God been dealing with you on, right? In most cases. Uh, like with Jonathan, Nathan, I guess, and, and David. Yeah. You know, however, Jesus, when he served as a prophet to the woman in the Samaria, which was a Samaritan again, he 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 told her things, but he didn't do it in such a, you know, not an abrasive way. He, he just said, go go get your husband. <laughs> just go get your husband. I, I, I'm telling you that you really, he, he should be here anyway. If I'm talking to you, he should be your husband. And then she said, I have no husband. And he said, right, he said, you, you're right. <laughs> you have five husbands. <laughs> and the one you have is not your husband. But but he did, he still didn't say like, she was like, Lord, then she said, I perceive you're a prophet. <laughs> 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 but it wasn't, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't pick a tone of him the way we think sometimes some of the prophets may be. Prophet doesn't necessarily have to do with you. I don't think even Nathan talked to J David in a, in a basic tone. 
I don't think he did either because David could have his head. <laughs> but he was right or wrong. <laughs> but he had to see it off with his head. <laughs> He gave him the power, but he hasn't it. He gave him the power. He was very tight. <laughs> and what he did, he let David give the abrasive answer. Well, it was like, it was no different than, than Christ. He gave him a parable that was based on his life. Yeah. Exact yeah. same thing Christ did. And then he just allowed him to see himself yeah. in that parable. And, and, and it just puts you on... <laughs> It really puts you on the stage yeah. <laughs> with lights, camera, yeah. action. Right. Respond. <laughs> right. And I like to, and you, you said it with those, the Levi and the Pharisees, and you were saying that's, those are some representatives of the people in the church. Well, that was the church in that time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But and I think we see in the dual nature of Christ and how you approach the people. Exactly. <laughs> but those, yeah, those who are responsible for representing the kingdom, he held them to a higher standard than those who were being drawn into the kingdom. Drawn into the kingdom. The and Pharisees were supposed to show the love of God. Yes. The mercy of God, the, 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 the ways of God. And they were, boy, he beat them up badly. They were off. I mean, they were, they were in error, but he yeah. was on them. I, mean, that, 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 I can't remember where the scripture starts, but it says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. Yeah, yeah. I and he goes it. on and on and on and on. And I mean, that's a long dissertation. And then now, he may stand in there in front of somebody calling you a bit that long. Huh? But when it came to the woman calling him, don't prove it, he go and see no more. Go see no more. Hey, look, he, he, he beat her up or nothing. And just, that's what I'm thinking is those, that kingdom neighbor and the other word neighbor is the representation. Uh, the first neighbor, kingdom neighbor, are the people representing God. But the other neighbor is the world. This is how I looked at that. That's why, I, this, as you was looking at that, my my central idea of the text is is is, is the uh, how the church is supposed to treat neighbors and each other too love one another too we we'll know we we'll know them by how they love one another right i think that what the scripture says have love one another but we don't do that we got to watch out for it that's how i was looking at that and then like i said that compassion he wants us to have compassion on the uh on people he had compassion this, this Samaritan, which was a gentile in all, yeah. all, all, all practical purpose, but he's really he wasn't not. even he wasn't a part of the kingdom. He wasn't part. Of, he was. They think it he was not part of the kingdom. <laughs> he wasn't even a part of the kingdom. He, uh, and of course, with the Jews, he wasn't anyway. According to the Jews, but they thought they were right. Samaritans yeah. thought they had. Samaritans, yeah, they felt they were, but the, the Jews did. They rejected him. Uh huh. Matter of fact, that well she was went to the Samaritan. That female went to the well. Yeah, that Jacob built that well. Remember when she said, y'all didn't even talk to us. Y'all didn't even talk, y'all got nothing to do with us. You didn't even talk to the Samaritans because they, they, they had intermarried with other people. I ain't got nothing to do with them. They rejected. They despised. You asking me, a Jew, <laughs> asking a Samaritan woman for something? <laughs> right. You you even talking to me. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, and and I thought it was interesting about the man. That's why I thought, Brother Ash, when I was focused at the beginning of that identity of that person, was in question but is important at the same time he's a spiritual condition he represents a spiritual condition of being beaten left for dead and but his identity is what's in question right i don't even know what he was a jew i don't know was, was he a samaritan well <clears throat> who would be coming from those from from jerusalem heading to jericho Jew. Jew. <laughs> yeah <Jew>. right. Right. <laughs> Right, right. So you think the Samaritan was going to Jer Jericho? Where's Jericho? Jericho Jericho is the city well, you, of you got you got somebody who is despised by the Jews helping the Jews. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Isn't that something? Yeah. And that's how I look at it. So it said the Samaritan to me represents Jesus Christ who had compassion on all of us. Yeah. The whole world. 
And then I show one example in Mark 6, 34. And Jesus, when he came out, saw much people. It was moved with compassion toward them because they were sheep not having a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. And, and I, th I think that's one of the key foundations that we kind of missed. That everything that God did was either, it was not either nor. It was, yeah. it was, it was motivated by his compassion and his love for his creation. Exactly. That's almost like a child, man. I'm going to find a way to make my kids, I'm not right, but I'm going to make it all right. You know? Right. <laughs> my right. kids be wrong, but they ain't never wrong. My kids are assertive and not belligerent. Your exactly. kids are belligerent. My kids are assertive. <laughs> <laughs> How you look at them, right? Yeah, man. I mean, I'm a, my kids always in a great light in my eyesight. You know what I'm saying? Even right. They, no, big time. They're like, they're, but they're mine. Right. So, and I think that's how God looks at us. I think so, too, though. So he does everything he probably began. I mean, he ex demonstrated his love and compassion for us in that we suffered. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look what he suffered. This man, this was not... And I think a lot of times we can't identify with the suffering of the cross. Uh-huh. And so we minimize it. Yeah. The pain that this man went through to bring give birth to us was yeah. unreal. Right. I, 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 I think about it sometimes. We watched the passion of Christ during the I mean Easter I mean the sunrise, I mean, resurrection. Uh-huh. We showed it outside outdoors. And uh I'm sitting there looking at the movie, I can't watch it. Hmm. And there was nothing like the gore and bloodshed and, you know, violence. And, and you understand what they got went through to get us where we're at? Yeah, where we're at, yeah. And that yeah. was all done because God so loved the world. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Come on. That's the strongest, that's the strongest motivator uh, uh, in, the, in, in the universe. I don't think yeah. it gets more than that. Hey, look, to the treat the human life, it takes that. And the part I like was the, and I, it's better as it, I keep thinking about the fact that God was attacked. It reminds me of the fact that he died for the ungodly. And I think, yeah. you know, the picture that was took in the season, I think it was. Oh, you're yet in our season. He said, yeah, no, how about this one said, and such were some of you. Amen. <laughs> well, we remember that. A lot of, but look, it looks like the ones who don't want to help somebody don't believe, don't, you know, forget that they were some of you. They, yep. they don't see, but as I got, I think Brother Azra was talking earlier, was saying this, does that, does that guy on the, 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 the guy who was wounded was somebody on the wayside in unbelief, and did you see yourself? And I like Brother Azra, Brother Azra, I'm, I'm throwing it back at you. I do like the fact that you focus on the Levite and the, 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 the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. the Levite and the, the, the priests. You see, you identify with yourself with them to a degree, right? Where I, I was identifying myself with that wounded person <laughs> at one time that was left for dead mm -hmm. on the wayside. And, and he, he, somebody had compassion. That was that song, somebody prayed for me. They had me on their mind. Come on now. Took the time and prayed for me. And I'm so I'm glad. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how I'm looking at it. I, I, I guess it's just interesting. I like how Brother Alfred said, because it's true. All those characters are us. Sometimes we are the Samaritan. One yeah. time we were left for dead, because we were spiritually dead. And then sometimes when we didn't come into the body, we have this justification that we leave some people we leave some people behind you know, yeah. you know I'm, I'm i'm interested in uh bishops how, how, how does this parable he's studying it uh line up with your uh cit on the uh the soul how does It 
can I say something about it before we move on? Yeah, yeah. Consider this. When Jesus said, if you don't know the parable, how you know all parables? Yeah. Is it possible that he showed us how they were going to know all parables? Do that, one. that he took them to the side and told them what it meant? Yeah. <clears throat> I think get stuck right there on that because <clears throat> Jesus explained some other parables to them. After he had given them that first parable, right? He took, I was reading over one the other day, and I, I didn't even realize that he had done that for that one too. But he took them aside and literally explained it to them. Yeah. Because he said to them, he said, for those who are without, it is not given to them to know the things of the kingdom. But for you, it's given to know. So he explained it. Right. So is that what he was saying, basically, that? You will know these parables because I'm going to explain them to you. And, and is, is the Holy Spirit now, Him inside of us, giving us revelation on the parables, those of us who have received it? Is that, that is it popular? Is that, that, that what He meant was I'm going to take you to the side and I'm going to reveal to you? I'm going to, the secret to this thing? You know, it's, it's interesting that you brought that up because when I was meditating on that, I, it came to me that just as Christ was the link to understanding a parable that he spoke likewise is the Holy Spirit the link to understanding mm -hmm. this kingdom gospel yeah. it's the same thing without the Holy Spirit the truth in the spirit of the these these words will not be revealed to you. Right, right. It, it is a a it was a great revelation for me that you can read this, you can read it and read it and read it, and it is like a parable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, and like I said, without somebody having the revelation and giving it, mm -hmm. you know, the revelation from the Holy Spirit, or you receiving the revelation from the Holy Spirit, right? You will only understand <laughs> so much of it, right? You know? It's a deep, it's deeper layers than all of them. Yeah, that, that, that was that was interesting. Yeah, and, and, and he said that so many times in the scripture. He said, I, I thank you, Father, that you hidden this from the wise and the proof. Yeah, wise and the proof, and revealed it to little babies. And, and he indicates it with the, with the disciples. He said, They said that they could tell that they were ignorant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I learned, I learned, man. Right? They didn't study the scriptures, they didn't study them. That, that's true, you know? Because they had been with Jesus. And Jesus had given them insight and wisdom that the world, that they never would have figured out because he just said, they told it to them, you know? And that's exactly. the cheat for us, the cheat is that we don't have to be brilliant. We just right. have to be attentive right. <laughs> and obedient. And you think like, oh, it's a genius. And he just listening. <laughs> and, and, and I think that was the attempt of what this one try to do was to get us to look a little deeper into you know what what is god saying and how you see the other pieces in the scripture like even with this parable i put in 35 look at the 35 and look at how i i got acts 7 and 8 from it and look at that one and, and verse 35 and on the morrow when he departed he's the person who said representing christ who also departed right he took up two pence and i, I you know Sometimes this, you can just get deep on all of it, right? You say, okay, what the two pins two pins represent, right? Uh, hmm. gave, gave them to the hosts. I think the church is the host. <laughs> I think the I think the two two pins represent the old and new testament. And said unto him, take care of him, and whatsoever thou spinnest. More when I come again, I will repay thee. Yeah. Now I looked at all that and this I took that one for Acts 1 7. When, when he had said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the season with the Father is put in his own power, but you shall receive power as the Holy Ghost has come upon you, 
and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea, and look at even Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And the, 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 the rest of that verse goes in this. Watch so this. Uh, and when he spoke these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and taken up in a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, there were two men. In, in there, two men. Two men. <laughs> I don't know that two. I don't know that two going to two pins about it, but two men stood by them in white pearls, which also said, You men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up to heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, <coughs> so shall come in like manner as yep. you have seen him go into heaven. And I was just looking at that prayer book going back to the soil, right? You see what I'm saying? He did the same thing. <laughs> well, in my oh. mind, I've, I've always looked at that part. Uh huh. When them two men and, and when they <laughs> said, Why are you gazing up to heaven? I'm like, Because I ain't never seen nobody fly away. Uh -huh. <laughs> like this happens every day to y'all. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. Is, is that the norm? Was that the norm? <laughs> <laughs> that was a trip, ain't it? But I, I was just, I, I, I just saw all these little different things. They could, they could kind of have a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how I'm looking at it. It has little shadows in it. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. That's what I'm saying. So that's how I'm looking at it with that. Back to the uh, the Samaritan, right? He, uh, that he, he took the guy. He gave a two pence. Hey, brother, I just wondering about the two pence. I, did, so I'm saying, that, Bishop, I think that's what you're trying to get us to do, though, right? We, what are we? What is this saying? Well, what is the Spirit saying? Exactly. I mean, we, that's what we need to know. Exactly. And I think that's Bishop's point, that the Spirit is speaking to each one of us individually. individually. And there's a truth that is specifically for us. Yeah. And he's trying to glean that and add it to him. Yeah. himself yeah. uh I, I believe that that's what it is and i and i think that's why he he uh is adamant about we spend time in these scriptures and and spend time giving ourselves yeah. uh to the spirit so that we will get an effective yeah. and a sound response exactly. you know a lot of times we hear and not and not grasp it. I know the spirit is always speaking to me, but do I grasp it? Exactly. Exactly. Christ didn't have a hard life. Right. When you look at Jesus Christ, sometimes you wonder, like, is he too liberal? <laughs> but he, he too concerned. I mean, what, this guy just seemed like, well, and then I thought about what the foundation of the whole belief system is. The foundation was love was made right wrong, but that wrong might be made right. Come on. But there was a flip that took place in the script that was just totally whacked out and said, this is craziness. This ain't logic. Okay. He wasn't sin. Yeah. He never done anything wrong. Right. But sin was placed on him to the extent that he was destroyed by him and then given to us as a sacrifice. Exactly. What sense did that make? Where's the logic of that? Yeah. There wasn't any. As men consider logic, there is no logic in it. Yeah, as men consider. As men consider logic, there's no logic in it. So he un and he said it pleased the father. Yeah. And he reached up and said, This is just straight crazy, but it pleased the father that he be bruised. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was, just, it was just the flesh. But it it was the flesh. The flesh. But there that, was a, that, that was that, brutal. There had it, to be a, that spiritual portion. Remember what he said on the cross? Why is that forsaken me? Uh-huh.